the granite quarry we're going to visit is one out of four main and major quarries in ancient times, where we have a magnificent, unfinished obelisk. An obelisk in ancient times was usually carved in one single piece of pink granite. And the only place in all of Egypt where you have pink and gray granite is the city of Aswan, 600 miles to the south of Cairo. Aswan has the only granite quarries in the whole country, so everything that we've seen made out of granite, whether in Cairo or in Middle Egypt or in the south, like obelisk, came from this particular site. This obelisk that had been left unfinished because of the crack that showed on the shaft was counted to be the largest monolith block of stone that would ever have been handled by human hand if it was finished. After the crack had showed in and they abandoned the site, I mean this particular site of the unfinished obelisk, later on attempt was trying to cut section of the obelisk to maybe use it as a block of stone or maybe a statue, but it never had actually been finished. So ever since, it has been found in its place till our modern time. The unfinished obelisk dates back to the time of Hatshepsut when she was the ruler and the king of Egypt. This is not her first, but she had ordered two other obelisks that we saw in Karnak Temple. This obelisk was supposed to be 134 feet in height with an estimated weight of 1168 ton. And this could be the largest that uh, the ancient Egyptian had ever handled in their lifetime. The obelisk was dedicated to the worshiping of the sun god. And they used to quarry the piece from the granite quarries. They used to carve it and to put the inscriptions on the four sides of the obelisk, even on the pyramid shape, then to be put on a wooden boat to be taken to the site where it's gonna be erected.